Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. We're down here in San Diego taking a look at a fire expo that's currently going on. Lots of interesting apparatus. Let's go right inside and check it out. Well, let's go inside the convention center. And one of the things you're going to be seeing in this quite long video is a close look at a variety of different fire apparatus. And basically what I've done is I've kind of gone around the show, took as much footage as I possibly think that you might want to take a look at and look at the different options in relation to lighting that's there as well as some of the designs of the up-and-coming fire apparatus that were available at this show in San Diego. Compartment lighting is definitely something that we'll be taking a close look at. Of course chevrons are very very popular these days, been popular from Europe for years, as well as brush rigs. So there's a lot of brush rigs at this particular show. This is just an example of some of them. Again you'll see more as we wander around the show. So as I said before, get your popcorn out, put your feet up, relax, enjoy. Here we go. And that light bar on the roof of this particular vehicle happens to be a Code 3. Most of the manufacturers were well representative. There was Code 3, there was some Federal Signal, plenty of Whelan as well. Scene lighting is becoming increasingly popular with fire apparatus, has of course been for years, but with the advent of LED scene lights, of which are available on SirenNet, you can go check those out on the website, you're going to see a lot of scene light options on a lot of these apparatus. Something a little bit unusual for the United States, a rear end pump panel. Again, gaining popularity to a degree depending on the application. This is a Power Arc product. We've seen that too before on some video that we've shot here at Siren Television. As I said earlier, plenty of Whelan product was available. This is an American La France pumper that was at the show. Now, of course, fire trucks do come in different colors. We have red ones, white ones, and yellow. This happens to be one that has a Pioneer Plus in white mounted on the rear. This is a new product from Whelan Engineering. And again, it is available on the scene light section at SirenNet. Now again, this vehicle, this vehicle I say, this fire engine um, had a variety of other lighting on it as well. But definitely the Pioneer Plus was something new and innovative from this particular manufacturer. And this is a Pierce product. And of course, we have to say San Diego. We're in San Diego, so let's go ahead and give those guys a good round of applause. Great time, by the way. Fantastic uh, put up by the fire department down there. They even had a evening on an aircraft carrier as part of the entire show event. Those boys know how to, and girls, know how to put on a hell of a show. Lots of Chevron product, as I mentioned earlier. and it definitely does improve safety with respect to the back of the apparatus. This is unusual in the sense this particular light head configuration is a stop turn brake area that's been set up. It's on a Pierce piece of apparatus and it's something that they're making in-house.
And again, we have a pair of Pioneer Plus bow lights mounted with a flood and spot combo on this particular piece of apparatus. Again, in white. You can get them in black. It is a customized option. Another brush rig. This, of course, is for the U.S. Forestry Service. And again, discharge valves at the rear of this particular U.S. Forest Service rig. The OR destination, by the way, indicates this piece of apparatus will be operating out of Oregon. Scene lighting again, of course, this is a telescoping scene light made by SuperVac, which is a product that is also carried on SirenNet. So again, you can check out the website with respect to SuperVac product on SirenNet. And this happened to be on a Riverside piece of apparatus. And again, this is a Code 3 light bar mounted on the roof of this particular apparatus as well. Now one of the things about going to take a look at these shows, and we'll be doing more of them in the coming years, is really to allow you a chance to wander around the hall with me with respect to me holding the camera and you taking a look at what I'm shooting. The objective again is to just give you an idea of the type of product that is out in the marketplace in relation to lighting, as well as some new and innovative options that are coming from the different manufacturers. Recessed TAs are always popular with the fire service. They stay out of the way. They don't get damaged when hoses are being pulled out of the back of the rig. Or in this particular case, I believe this one happens to be a rescue unit as well. No, it's a pumper. So there you go. I'm very good at lighting, but not great at fire trucks. Some folks still want to have rotating light bars, and uh, Code 3 is willing to oblige. This actually happens to be an LED light bar in what is otherwise known as an MX7000 housing. And again, you know, the, the trend in the fire service is to have, in some cases, very low profile lights mounted on the rig, but in other cases, they actually like to have them with larger, bulkier lights to kind of add to the size of the unit in question. And again, you get to see how these chevrons, even inside a well-lit show area, light up with respect to light reflecting off them. Now this happens to be a Whelan Delta bar. Um, I like this light bar. Uh, Whelan, I won't say they don't like it, but basically it's a very, very expensive light bar. It has a tremendous amount of light power coming out of it. It's not as popular as maybe it should be. Um, we're going to give a chance also at the show to get a close-up of this bar at the Whelan stand. So it's the Whelan Delta bar, and we're going to come back to this bar in a minute.
And as you can see by my camera angles, he really likes this bar. Well, of course, what fire show, at least in the United States, wouldn't be a fire show if you didn't have a couple of Dalmatians. And this happens to be on a steam pumper dating back to the last century. Now, of course, it is San Diego, and surfing is definitely something that happens in that part of the world. And this is just an example of some of the product that was available at this particular show for people to take a look at. So again, these are surfboards that will be used for rescue purposes. Whelan, of course, had a stand there along with some other manufacturers. And I'm going to endeavor to take a close look at that delta bar I was talking about. There it is. It's right there. And I'm going to uh, zoom in in a minute, just showing you, of course, this is a Pioneer light which has been mounted into a Freedom bar. It is a, an option that is available within the Freedom family. And there's the Delta bar. Now, the Delta bar is not in any Whelan price lists. It's not even in, any, some, in most of the published catalogs either. I really do like the bar. I'm sure that Whelan's going to be a little bit peeved for me going on about this. This bar is underrated. It's definitely an outperformer, no question about it. But it is expensive to manufacture. And here you get to see it working. So for all you Zoomers out there, I thought I'd just turn it on for kicks. Many years ago, we made a video, it was a sort of a Delta Delta Can I Help You Help You bar video. I don't know whether some of you remember, it was an April 1st deal. But again, this bar has a lot of potential, a massive amount of light, and normally it's a sort of something that's put on a fire apparatus if it's specifically specified by the customer. That's 28 diodes, by the way, in that top section, if you add up all the corner modules. So there you have it. The Wheel and Delta bar, not available, is available, could be available. Stay in touch. Well, there we are. One more brush rig to take a look at as we wind to the end of our trip here at this particular show. Well, there you have it. A close look at a variety of different fire apparatus at the fire show here in sunny San Diego. And for all of us here at Sirenet Television, many thanks for watching. We're back to sunny Oregon.